Hey guys, Jason Graber here with another Shed Suite training video. And in this video, we're going to walk you through how the Idea Room integration is going to work on a few different levels. Um, the first way will be to use Idea Room inside the dealer. And then the other way would be to use the Idea Room dealer URL outside of the dealer. Maybe it's on your Facebook page or your website. Um, but we're gonna start at the admin dashboard and then we'll dive into uh, the dealer dashboards and kind of show you how that works. Um, and so we had a previous video to show you how to get your accounts linked up, how to map all your models and everything. So we're assuming that's all done. Um, and now you're gonna be able to go over to your uh, manage accounts over here under manage dealers. And you're gonna be able to go under one of your dealers here. And there's gonna be a new toggle switch that says allow Idea Room 3D Shade Configurator. And you can turn this on for this dealer. So if this dealer is set up in your sales view Idea Room account, you can then turn this on. It then uh, allows the dealer to have a new tab in their dashboard that says Idea Room. So you'll see that right here. So what this is doing is um, if this is enabled, instead of starting a quote from the quote screen where you would probably normally start a quote and you can still do this you know creating a quote on the order form by selecting a new build you can actually start from idea room and by starting from idea room you're actually going to start designing the shed um, using the the 3d configurator and uh, this is a great experience for you working with the customer it's obviously a good experience just you know designing sheds and looking at seeing what they're going to look like um, and so what you would do is just go about the design process however you would. You would choose your size, um, options, and you can place uh, doors and windows, um, stuff like that. Um, so we can, we can do this configuration. Um, and then when you're ready to do the um, quote, you can just click submit for quote. And so you're gonna go ahead and fill this information in. And we're just gonna do tester here. and we can go ahead and submit. So what we're doing is we're just submitting the quote into the idea room system, which will then submit all the information back over to the shed suite system and it will create a shed suite contact and it will create a shed suite quote for you. So once you get the thank you message, you can just close this and go over here to your quotes page and you will see the quote loaded up at the top of your quotes page. And this quote will have the uh the subtotal here but it'll also have the ability for you to print the floor plan for this design now we don't have the invoice for this design because we don't have the taxing information and all that stuff that's needed when you go through the order form so you're able to get the invoice by going ahead and clicking continue this takes you to the order form it populates all the information into the order form it even gives you a dynamic picture of the shed you designed uh, what we're doing with idea room designs is we're locking down the model and the size just for those quotes just so that they can't be changed on the shed suite order form if you do want to change this you can go back to the quote and you can edit the design and then come back here to change these um, options we are giving you the ability to edit options on this order form, on the Shed Suite order form. So you can add additional um, database options and even custom options. You can see what's already here. So you can modify this. Just be aware that if you modify options on this list, it may affect, it will affect the floor plan. And what we're doing is we're actually generating this really cool floor plan for you based off of the information we're getting from idea room so this is the floor plan that's come in for this um, 12 by 24 premium shed dormer and we're able to get digital signatures on this so that floor plans are fully digital so just be, keep in mind if you modified options um, on the on the shed suite order form just make sure that it doesn't affect the floor plan if it does you would want to go back and edit the design and then come back and do um, the quote but if if everything is good you can go ahead and click continue um, another kind of improvement here that we made on the order form is we hyperlinked the phone number and the email of the customer so that you can just click on it to email or click to call the customer 
Um, you can't make edits to the customer on this screen. If you want to make edits on the customer, you can click here and, and leave. You can exit the order form to make edits on this customer. Just be aware you might lose things that you've saved. Um, so those are some improvements there. Uh, but the information should be pre-filled because we're getting that from the 3D configurator. So you can just continue that, uh, go on to step three of the order form and you'll see all the information populated into the order form. And we can go ahead and save this as a quote if we'd like to, um, or you can click cash and just go ahead and check out, go right through the checkout process. If you do save it as a quote, that's when we'll generate the invoice for you to send to the customer and you can get them to um, you know, review that invoice or that, that quote. Um, but if the customer's ready to buy, you can just go ahead and click a payment method right here. We'll just do cash freeze and you can go ahead and click continue. And once you get to step four for the documents, um, you'll be able to sign this invoice uh, digitally and you'll also be able to sign the floor plan digitally. So that's really cool. Um, no exporting and downloading uh, floor plans because we're getting that floor plan dynamically from idea room. So all you really have to do is just open this up, get a digital signature, or of course you can text it to a phone or an email and the customer can sign on their device. They'd also be able to link, get a link to the floor plan to view the floor plan, make sure it's what they like uh, before signing. So once you go ahead and you submit this order, you can go ahead and submit. And what we're gonna do is actually use the dynamic shed picture that's in the design for the building picture. So all orders that are submitted from idea room quotes will actually have a picture of the shed um, pre-filled in here just to get you started. Um, and so of course then we'll be using the floor plan that we got digital signatures on and it's gonna have a signature and a date. Um, we did add a QR code here and it is hyperlinked on the digital PDF. So if you do click on it, it actually opens up the design in Idea Room. So you can just see the design here. Uh, so this would be really helpful for the builder to be able to scan the floor plan, open this 3D design up um, and look at it uh, because they're, they have this, this floor plan here. Um, and then, yeah, you have the, the whole order. Once the order is processed, we'll of course generate the work order for it. Um, but uh, that is the process of submitting an order from an idea room uh, quote. You can kind of start at idea room, submit it there, goes into your quote section. You can uh, edit the design or submit the order um, or save it as a quote. You can do that as well. Um, and then once you submit the order, it's submitted just like any other order. And uh, just with a little extra, you actually have a photo now of the dynamic building um, on the order form. So um, I hope that helps. I think there's there's definitely some learning curve here. You'll have to learn a little bit, um, you know, how to navigate back and forth because you can always still use the quotes how you've always used them. Just go to the quotes, create new building, choose a model category, and then a a model and a size. This is how we've always done it. Still works fine. Um, but if you'd like to start with Idea Room, you can start over here in the Idea Room tab inside the dealer account once it's enabled for your dealer. Now, another way to be able to do this is you have a URL for the, um, the dealer. So this dealer URL right here would be uh, dealer ID 199. And this is mapping directly to my Venice dealer. You can see the, U the email here is Venice dealer. So this URL is a public URL. You can paste this anywhere. You can make a button link to it from a email or a website. Um, and any design that's done on this URL will automatically go into Shed Suite as a quote. So we can kind of see how that looks. Let's just do like an elite um, A-frame and we'll submit a quote. We'll do um, tester six, something like this. Um, and we'll go ahead and submit. So what you'll see is you'll be able to see that this customer designed this on their own on your website or somewhere else from your link. And when they submit this um, quote on uh, your, your configurator, 
you'll actually be able to see that quote pop up in your quotes page right here, which you'd be able to click the customer, you'd be able to see all the customer information that was submitted, um, first and last name, email, phone number, um, billing address, here's a link to the design, all the specs of the design, and then here of course is the actual quote where you'd be able to edit the design, grab the floor plan, or continue as an order. So editing the design is pretty straightforward. It's a full page edit window that pops up. It adds the building in here. If you wanted to add like a door or something to it, you can just do that. Uh, modify the design any way you like, and then click submit for quote and just submit it again. All the customer information is going to be pre-filled because it's inside of ShedSuite and we're loading up that customer inside the design. So you just have to submit it again. And once you get the confirmation message here that has been submitted, you can just close this window and you'll see a second design pop up here. And this is a new updated version of it because this one has the door on it. This one does not have the door on it. Um, so continuing this one would populated into the order form. You'd be able to see the seven foot garage door. You can also see the dynamic photo in the order form and you'd be able to submit this as an order. So those are the two ways that you can use the 3D configurator inside ShedSuite and outside ShedSuite. Um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and drop us a support ticket. You can go ahead and click tech support um, and drop us a ticket here. Um, you'd also be able to um, you know, email us, support at shedsuite.com if you have any questions. Um, but this will be rolling out in the next couple weeks. Um, if this is something that you do not have enabled for your company yet and you would like it to be enabled, um, go ahead and submit us a tech support ticket. So submit a ticket, just put in the title, you know, enable idea room and we'll get you on the list of people to, to get started and uh, we'll try to get everybody onboarded into that uh, integration as soon as we can. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.